Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about toolbar. We're going to use a Java GUI swing class called JToolbar, which is going to allow us to create a toolbar. So a toolbar is actually a group of uh, components, usually buttons with icons in a row or column. And uh, so that's what we will be doing. So without delay, let us begin our coding. I have two classes as usual. Yeah, I am creating my uh, frame and I have the my frame class, which is inheriting from the JFrame class. And in the my frame class, I'm going to write all the. So if you want to create a toolbar in Java GUI, you use a J toolbar class, as I told you. So I'm going to say J toolbar. I will call it toolbar and a new J toolbar like this semicolon at the end so i'm going to import the toolbar so one thing i need to do is i'm going to add the toolbar to so i need to create a button i'm going to say j button i'm going to call it btn equal new j button i'll set its text to button like this and then semicolon so let me import the j button class then i'm going to add the button to the toolbar so you see toolbar.add btn then i will say semicolon here i'm going to create another button so i will say j button btn to new j button i'm going to set its text to button to then semicolon so now if i want to add the second button to a toolbar so i'll say toolbar add btn2 and then semicolon so how do you add a toolbar to your frame because if i run like this nothing is going to show on the frame because i've not added a toolbar to the frame yet in order to add your toolbar to a frame we were going to use a class called container so i'm going to say container i'm going to call this pane and i will say this that get content pane okay so i need to import the container class and now i'm going to use the pane i will say add toolbar and i can say border layer that no then semicolon import the border layout class and when i run let me comment the set layout here run there you can see toolbar and my two buttons. So button one, button two. So what I can do is that I can change these buttons here. I will say new, for example, and this one I will say edit. So that when I run, there you can see the two buttons. So to the toolbar, I can also add a combo box. Okay, um, how to add a combo box? I'll come down here. I'll simply say toolbar and add new J combo box. And as you know, the combo box, you can use a string of arrays. So I'm going to say string like this, open and close the curly braces. I'll simply put the semicolon here. First, let me import the J combo box class. So now in the curly braces of my string array, I can pass certain information. I can say sign in, for example, comma, register, comma, and help. So that's it for the combo box. So now let's run. We're supposed to have a combo box show, you know, in our toolbar. So we have new edit, which are my two buttons, and we are having the combo bar here, a, tool, a combo box here. So we can add some more um, <clears throat> components. For example, down here, I can add text area. So J text area, this text area, new J text area. So I'll import the J text area class. I will say J scroll pane. So I'm going to apply the scroll pane to my text area. So I'll say scroll pane, new J scroll pane. Now pass in the text area, semicolon. Import the J scroll pane class and we can add this uh, scroll pane to the container or the frame so i will say pane that add so if you can recall pane is actually the name we gave to our frame okay the content pane so i'll pass scroll pane and semicolon border layout is this and i will say semicolon so if we set the size of the scroll pane like this 
I will move the ball the layout like that and run. So there you can see we're having a scroll pane here. So you can write text as you want. I can, for example, copy this code and paste it in here. So you have the content pane. Here you have your toolbar and all of that. And that's it. So we can also um, add a separator, okay? A separator between the two buttons. So what I'm gonna do is I'll simply write toolbar. If I need to add some space between the two buttons on a toolbar, say toolbar.add separator, semicolon, then run. There you can see there is a separator that has been added between the button new and the button edit. Okay, guys, so that was it on the toolbar. And we could also see how you could add um, the scroll pane to your text area and then add it to the frame and how you could actually have a toolbar. So I hope this video was informative. And please don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.